Hi, my name's Simon Reynolds. I'm the director of Formless to Perform. Over the past 14 years, I've been working with McLaren as driver performance manager, supporting drivers such as Kevin Magnussen, Stoffel Van Dorn, Alex Albon, and the current Formula 2 champion, Nick de Vries. So many people now are working from home, which means they're sat down for long periods and less likely to walk around uh, like they do at the office. We need to make sure we look after our posture and biomechanics. As a consequence, this can cause lower back pain. It's actually the sedentary nature of sitting which is the main issue, not sitting itself. So we're gonna take you through a few exercises today to get you moving and to offset any aches and pains that you may be experiencing. So the first exercise is the trunk rotation. This helps mobilize your upper spine and neck complex. From sitting down all day, we tend to get into a slouched kind of position and over time this can cause havoc with your posture and your upper back, which can also then lead to lower back pain. So we want to make sure that we sit in a nice upright tall position with the chest up, but making sure we're not compensating by overarching through the lower back. We then place our hands on our thigh with our feet approximately hip to shoulder width apart. We then slide the hand down the thigh as we raise the opposite hand up the thigh and rotate in the opposite direction to the hand that's furthest out. We then change and slide the other hand in the opposite direction and the other hand comes up the thigh. We can then repeat this a number of times, making sure we keep a nice upright torso position and we can look round further with our head position only if it feels comfortable. The next exercise is the arm raise to help mobilize the shoulder joint and stretch the muscles around the chest area and upper back, which can cause this rounding of the shoulder and loss of mobility around that particular area. So you place your hands down by your side with the palms facing forward, and then you raise your arms out to the side and again overhead. Do not force the range of motion as this may cause discomfort into the shoulder joint and also into your lower back. Just work within your own comfortable range of motion. Finally, one of the most important exercises for daily life is the king of exercises, the squat. The squat exercise works multiple muscles which help burn calories and also help stabilize your knee joint through to your ankle joint and help again offset lower back pain. So to perform the squat exercise, we're going to start in a standing position. We're going to place our feet approximately shoulder width apart with the toes facing slightly outwards. We want to make sure that we keep an even weight distribution on the foot from the large toe, small toe and the heel throughout the movement. We're then going to place the hands on the top of the shoulders with the elbows up. From here, we wanna create a little tightening around the midsection, and then we want to squat and lower ourselves down. First of all, making sure the chair is right behind you. From there, we get a simultaneous knee and hip bend to sit down into the chair, and then return back up to the start position and repeat. Now, make sure that when you are sitting down, you're making sure the knees are staying in line with the toes and the knees are not coming in to the midline of the body. So I hope you found those exercises helpful and interesting to fit in with your daily life now working from home and maybe at the office also. Prior to participating in a change to your exercise programme, make sure you consult your doctor or physician. If you suffer with any pain or discomfort currently, then do not perform the exercises until you've consulted a professional.